Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new Efteling vlog. Hello. So this is the last vlog of the series. Yeah. We're, we're checking out. Checking out. So uh, what I did was I went and got the car. I spent a bit of time scraping off the ice. I know, it's still icy out uh, there. And then I've driven the car round to the parking bays that I think we showed in one of the previous vlogs. And then yeah, we've packed up the car and then we're going to head off for breakfast. Head off, have some breakfast, and then we think we're gonna start our day with the stone trail. So mm. I'll take you along for that. Bye Treehouse 803. You were amazing. I loved it. Gone a bit different today. Decided to get fried eggs and bacon and some toast. Treat myself. So we've left having breakfast and we are now heading off to do the stone trail. So that's actually by the treehouse. So yeah, we're gonna head back that way. It is, I think it's about quarter to ten. Yeah, so we managed to get everything done. I'm very surprised. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to do the stone trail and then head into the parks pretty close to like when it's opened. Yeah. I don't know how long the stone trail is. Okay, so we are here at, at the stone the, trail. The first boulder. I remembered that I had the little guide in my pocket. So you, am I going to be in charge or do you yeah, want to be in charge? you be in charge. All right, I'll okay. keep an eye out for the animals. So follow the boulders and discover the animals of the Lunchland. So we've got the wolf first. Yes. Not the wolf, the fox. Oh, I keep calling it wolf. Why <laughs> do I keep doing that? It's because we've watched Into the Woods and we're say. about to go into the woods. <laughs> into the woods to grandmother's house. Let's go. I really don't want there to be wolves. I don't know why I keep saying wolves. <laughs> Definitely feels a bit like Narnia at the moment. <laughs> There's 24. 24? We've only found one. 24 boulders, it says. <laughs> we found another. A rabbit. Can you see any rabbits? They're all probably hiding from I'm the it's this from way, the then. cold. Boulders on Should we head this way? Yeah. Two. Two. I felt like I was in some sort of like film there where yeah, I was, you, know, to you have to <laughs> find solve a puzzle underneath. or something, yeah. yeah. It's Indiana Jones. <laughs> Boulder number three. So at the minute, like when we get to a sort of crossroads, so we search for the boulder. Ones, yeah, look for the boulder. An eagle. Bird. What kind of bird is it? That one. A crow. A crow. Ooh. Any crows? Probably in the trees. So I think we're doing well so far. We haven't filmed a couple, but we're up to number. Uh, well, we're we counting 18. down now, so we've got 18 to go. This yeah. is the cockerel. Rooster. Rooster. Look at this. Very nice. Beautiful. Got to really make sure you're looking out when you get to these different directions. Make sure you're looking out for the boulders. Top tip. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it's... if you're not looking, you can see that. You're off in that direction. And then you're completely wrong. And you're going off for miles. Every time you come up to like a junction, there's always a boulder near. So we're guessing that is how you complete <laughs> it. Just always follow the boulder. I think the animals are a bit cold though. So yeah, we haven't, haven't seen, seen any many. animals yet. Well, we saw some dogs, yeah, but, but they, were, oh, they, were, <laughs> <laughs> they weren't wild dogs. They're not on the map. <laughs> so we came up to this, but there's a huge, but it kind of looks like a lake, but we think it might just be flooded and then with ice. So we're going over here. <laughs> I found a boulder. We might have found a boulder, so we're carrying on. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think there is a path, but we obviously can't see it because it's iced over and we didn't want to risk walking on the ice because that is too water. risky. Huh? I think this is normally water. With a path. And it's flooded over the path, right? Yeah. I mean, that does look stunning though. Wowzers. Right. We made it. We're across. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you nearly went on it. I was like, no, 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 that's water, that's water. <laughs> right, what was this? Oh no! You can probably tell. Oh, oh no. yeah, a bird. No, it's a bird. Not flying. Not flying. Oh, is that? Is it that one? Bird of prey. Yeah. Bird of prey. So we're up to oh no, seventeen. So I think I spotted my first animal and it was a finch, a bird, up in the trees. You can't really see it now, it's hiding. But yeah, first animal spotted. We have 15 boulders left, so we're definitely getting there. But yeah, I think it's just too cold for all of the other animals. 
we haven't spotted them. You've also got maybe bring some like binoculars. Yeah. So our plan was working well until we had eight left before we arrived back at the rabbit. We, uh, we, <laughs> we so I'm not sure one. what happened there. We were like, someone's already uh, moved the snow off. off. So it was us. So we're not entirely sure where the other eight were. We either missed them or I don't know, maybe, down another turning. Maybe they were covered in snow so much we didn't see them. Yeah. I don't know. But we managed to see the majority of them and it was a really, really nice walk. Nice walk. And how long did we walk for? It was for? a 35 minute walk. 35 we minutes we did. So if you follow the same path that we did, which was just following the boulders basically, it's about 35 minutes. Yeah, it's really, really lovely. And uh, lovely yeah, we're gonna head to the park now. Lovely in the snow. Yeah, really lovely in the snow, oh, nice. literally like Narnia. So we're making our way to the park now. Uh, as for checkout, just like check-in, you don't need to go to the reception area. All you have to do is go onto the Efteling app and then it says notify departure. You click that and then you can still use the car park, you can still use the facilities. Uh, it just lets them know that they can go into your tree house or your lodge and they can clean it, ready for the next person. So it's just coming up to 11 o'clock. Uh, so we, again, right on time with our schedule for today. <laughs> and the first thing we think we're going to do is head to Symbolica to do the third uh, route. So the treasure route. The treasure one. Because we've done the music, we've done the heroes. It's really bright and sunny it today. It's quite warm. I can't look up. <laughs> So I've checked the route uh, back to Le Chussel, um and it's going to take about three hours, 15. So we're going to leave at about three. Give us a lot of time. Yeah, then. we're going to go up till about two and then I think we're going to have lunch at two and then head back to the car. Yeah, so you've got about three hours to kind of get in any rides and anything that we want to like do again, really. Yeah. A trip without Paul Coupin. I know. I don't think we kind of want to eat at that Max and Moritz yeah. place. So yeah. I don't think we we will. So we have to be on our next our next trip. Yeah. Look at all these pancakes. So we decided there was quite a number of people heading in to uh, Symbolica. Yeah, I don't think it would be that long, but it was like still longer than it is during the day. Yeah, so everyone's heading first. We thought we'll do something else that's uh, nearby, and then we'll go back once it's calm down a little bit. We think we might regret this decision, but we're going to go and do the gondoletta. <laughs> because Lucy and Craig, who we met yesterday, said that it was really pretty. And I can imagine yeah. it's really pretty with some of the snow left over. It's going to be cold though, we'll have to wrap up. <laughs> so it is already a bit nippy because the seats were a bit frozen. <laughs> I've got a bit of a well, it feels Sorry, like bottom. it feels like how it felt when I slipped over on the ice. <laughs> <laughs> but the this is very is peaceful. Shining. I should have brought my sunglasses. It's very quiet around this area, and then they've got the music playing over there. We're going to go around that icy patch. Not too bad actually. It's very peaceful. Quite mild. Isn't it? Well, the sun is shining. Yeah. Oh, the swan. This swan really wants food. We've just seen it ducking into. Oh no. What are you doing? Oh, he went straight past. That's oh, that was scary. It was really lovely. Coming up to the end of it now. Nice and relaxing. Okay, so after our 20 minute gondoletta ride, we're gonna head back to Symbolica. <laughs> So we want the red one. The treasures tour. 
at the end, hold on to your imagination, it's where magic begins. <laughs> so after I did the three, I think this trip, my favourite was the music tour. Because I think the music tour, we were the last in yeah, every room. Yeah, I, I might agree actually, the first one we went on. I know, the that was it. No, the second one was the music second one. one. Uh, the Heroes Tour, that's a good one as well. Yeah. I like that one. I quite like the first one I think we went on. Oh, so your Heroes? Yeah. That's going to be your favourite. My favourite's the music tour. Which tour is your favourite? <laughs> I think we're going to go for a spin on Sirocco. We love this ride. There's more room for you to fall. I think when it's full, they sort of catch you, don't they? You got the full effect because you were going everywhere there. <laughs> Helda was flying all over the place. I was trying to hold you up and then I couldn't help myself. I was going everywhere as well. Always important, hydration reminder. Time for a ride on Vogel Rock. I love this ride now. <laughs> So we just did Vogel Rock. That first bit, like your when it takes your drops. photo, just after it takes your photo, like your stomach drops. Yeah, yeah. it goes so fast at the beginning. Love you just that go ride. Out and everyone's picture is them just laughing. <laughs> so we did Sirocco, and then as we came off Sirocco, somebody said, uh, uh, "Oh, I like your scarf because uh, it's Doctor Who." I don't know if anybody's picked up on that. So it's nice to meet a fellow yeah. Doctor Who fan. But then also with them was an Instagrammer uh, called Eftel Man. And we've just followed them uh, on Instagram and they take amazing photographs yes. from around Efteling reviewing food, uh, it looks like, and uh, decorations and things. So yeah, if you want to check that out, it's Eftel and then M-A-A-N. But yeah, it was lovely to meet you. We completed the bucket list on this particular ride, but I mean, we've Why got not? time and it's quiet. So this is number six. <laughs> I'm happy about that because it's my favourite ride. Druvlet. So after Drew Lucked, we have got ourselves a, a cinnamon. cinnamon. Well, cinnamon, but cinnamon bun. A cinnamon bun. I love these. <laughs> I can't resist it. The temptation <laughs> is too strong. The temptation of the snail. I've got to ride the snail. We're going to go on the monorail. I remember this felt really like, ooh, Ricky. Yeah. I'm not sure how to go Oh. Telling a story inside the well. 
about the people of Laf. We missed some of this. We did. There's just so many hidden things, aren't there? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't we do this near the end of our May trip as well, I think? I can't remember, but this is how people told me in the comments because we didn't realise that you could go in the buildings. <laughs> oh, some people up there. Oh, and then I believe, yeah, if I remember, there's a little window at the back. Oh yeah, and can see how... the school one of the pupils stuck their tongue out it was this one here wasn't it yeah stuck their tongue out at helmer oh yeah i like this one there's a baker there and then there's somebody attached to the windmill oh yeah hold me this is the white horse and i would say that that is where i had my favorite meal of the trip oh really your favorite yep. because i had that penne pasta mm. that was amazing it's a hard one because the pasta i had at cash bar was really nice that beef stew you had last night was I great as well. and it was chips and gravy maybe there <laughs> maybe they're just oh, but oh, i oh, really oh. really did like that pasta i had at cash bar so we think this is where we're gonna eat after we've been on max and moritz and before we leave the park burger, burger bakery <laughs> this dance macabre building's huge I'm excited to see what that is once it opens. We did Maritz first last time, so we're going to do Max first. Love that ride, both of them so fantastic. We're gonna go in here and let's have some food. This is different to the burger bakery, I think that's around the corner. We'll show it afterwards. Should we have this chicken yeah, tenders? I'm up for this. I was thinking of getting chicken anyway. Mm. I'm gonna get chicken tenders. So, this is called Mrs. Bolt's Kitchen French fries and snacks. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. When we walk past on the way out, we'll have a little look at the burger um, spot and see if it is a separate bit. I think they, it there's definitely be. a sign for burgers. There was, yeah. So we'll have a little look and we'll show you if you did fancy having burgers while you're here. Um, but what I actually love is like we haven't had a single burger our whole trip. Yeah. Because um, normally theme park food is normally burgers and fries. Mm. And as much as I love that, it's really cool that we've managed to nice actually variety. not eat a burger. Mm. So we got, this is a four piece bucket, eight piece bucket, some onion rings and some chips <laughs> and some drinks. This looks amazing. It's nice, isn't it? It's really warm. So we got confused. We thought that was all part of the same building, but it's not. Well, it's the same part of the same building, but it's a separate um, place to grab food. Food outlet. Probably open in summer more. Yeah, because we've got seating out here and then you just collect your food from this area over burger. here. Because, yeah, they got chicken burger in there. Ah, we'll try that in the summer trip. Oh, that food was lovely. It was really good. I picked way too much. I, I, I got confused. <laughs> you thought they were chicken nuggets, but they're chicken wings. Yeah. Oh, I thought they were like chicken strippers. So I thought yeah. they were going to be like thinner or something, but they were they were very filling. I don't, yeah. Eight, I think we could share next time. Yeah, we could share eight, <laughs> definitely. But yeah, they were lovely. The train. Waving us farewell. <laughs> 
The time has come to leave Efteling. <laughs> oh, loved it. What a magical trip. <laughs> yeah, it's been fabulous. We've enjoyed it. Yeah, dare I say it, even more. I know. The, uh, In some ways second it's quite time. nice when you come back to somewhere you've been before. When you got a bit you, more you know, knowledge about yeah, it. Yeah, you know a bit more. And uh, we were just able to take this leisurely. nice and easy. I say leisurely, but we, we still like managed to get loads done. But it didn't feel like we were rushing around to everything. Not at all. And I mean, the snow just added that extra element of... I did not expect that when we booked Winter Efteling. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we didn't expect the full package, including snow. Well, a lot of people <laughs> as well have commented that it's, it's quite rare to get. So, yeah, yeah. we were definitely very fortunate. So we're going to head round to the exit and I think we've got a little bit of our spending money still left so we might get the dream looked fragrance fragrance we're thinking maybe the diffuser yeah that'd be nice more so than the room spray yeah. so we can just keep it keep it on so this is another place that we think we'll try on our next trip and it's the pinocchio restaurant it wasn't open uh, whilst we were here this time it's open at the weekends at the moment and then probably during summer as well but it's the uh, pinocchio pizza pasta restaurant <laughs> But on that note, head into the shop. To the shop, to the shop. Right, we picked up our diffuser. In my bag. And we are headed back to the car. Ah, oh, that was such an amazing trip. So we're all packed up now, ready we to are go. Back we in the car. We thought we'd go through our bucket list. Yeah, our bucket list recap. Make sure we uh, did what we did wanted to everything. do. Did everything. So. First was to watch Aquanura in the dark. Tick, Tick. yeah, we, we did, did that. that. Loved it. Second was a picture of Pardus in his winter outfit. Yeah, he caught us by surprise. That was spontaneous. Yeah, we, we did that. that right at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, third was Fairy Tale Forest from the beginning. We yes. definitely did that. Yeah, we definitely and we went even the right went way. We went on the little swan ride. We went on the swans. Yeah, we saw the ones that we'd missed. Yeah. Number four, your favourite ice skating oh dear we definitely did the ice skating and i definitely fell over Twice. <laughs> number five have a winter beverage mm. tick we had the hazelnut hot chocolate um the mulled wine are really nice as well oh, yeah. smell really nice uh five was oh no not five six was to go to the bakery we did that and we, we that, had yeah. the that biscuit and caramel caramel yeah that was really nice uh, seven was to walk around the stone trail. We, we did, did that, this, that morning. this morning. And then every time we saw a boulder <laughs> when we were going around after thing, we were like thinking boulder. of the stone, stone trail. <laughs> Number eight was to ride Dream Block five times. <laughs> Yay, six times. We went above and beyond for that one. <laughs> <gasps> Number nine was to ride Baron, which I did on the did. second day. Yeah. Uh, it. it was closed today, I think, actually. Yeah, we were going to see if I could get another ride in, but it was closed this morning. Mm. And then number 10 was to meet the people of Volk van Laff. Yes, we did. We did, the people of Laff. And we even went on the monorail yeah, as well. Yeah, so, yeah, we went above and beyond for our bucket list. Um, I'm so happy we managed to do everything. And it was such a great trip. Um, from start to finish, really, it flew yeah. by. We absolutely loved Winter Efteling. I grew very fond of the tree house that we were staying yeah, in. Yeah, it was really cozy. With the park <laughs> finishing at six, it meant that we had these lovely, relaxing nights where we yeah. could watch movies. It was just, it's just been brilliant. Yeah. So thank you so much for all your comments, all your messages. Also, everyone we met, mm -hmm. um, we met quite a few people around the park as well. Um, so yeah, a huge thank you, and we will see you in the next one. Yeah, if you like this one, hit the like button and also subscribe. We'll see you soon. Bye. Toodle Pipski. I'll be alive.